How do Freud here, back with another video. Uh, it's been a little while, new job and a few bits in the background, but um, today we've got another roof leak. So this is roof leak number four on the house. Um, I've known about this one for a little while. It's time to actually do something about it before winter really sets in. So uh, I'm in the bathroom now, slash workshop, and it's got this weird slopey roof here. This is a, basically a, a dormer that sticks out off the back roof. And what's happening is I've got a leak somewhere along here. The water is tracking down, probably hitting a block behind here somewhere. And as you can see, this isn't wet, this is dry, but this is where we've had leaks previously. You can see, you can see where the water's been running down. And that's leaking down to the floorboards and also leaking down to the kitchen ever so slightly. So outside of here, uh, there's tiles, I need to get the tiles off, pull the membrane off and see what's going on. New membrane, probably some new flashing, a few bits and bobs. And uh, yeah, let's go outside and uh, show you what's going on. Here we go, so this is the bathroom. Uh, and this here is the roof, the bit of the roof I was pointing at inside the bathroom. So somewhere along here we've got a leak. And you can see by the state of this flashing, lead flashing, someone's tried to paint it in something and the seal against the plastic here is broken. Someone's put this gutter here on this flat roof that does absolutely nothing. It's completely pointless. Because the flat roof is designed to drain towards the back come off the side and down, so that gutter is completely useless. The only thing it is doing is catching loads of rubbish and water's probably pooling there, so that's probably not helping either. So water could be pooling and then tracking under the flashing and potentially inside. So we're doing take that gutter off, get rid of that completely. Uh, this siding needs to come off to have a little look behind there. Uh, tiles need to come off from like here all the way up to there. Flashing off, replace that with either new lead or the more DIY friendly flexible stuff. And Maybe have a closer look at that bit of flashing up there. It probably needs to stick out more over this side to the left. So let's get to it. Okay, got the siding off uh, over there. On the edge of this piece of wood, there was a plastic trim and then another plastic trim on top. Great. Uh, a whole bucket of junk. I took off some uh, anti bird stuff. There's tons of moss. The first issue I've found is this here. So this piece of wood, really just a bit of trim to be able to fix your plastic to, but where the water and leaves have been running down off the top of the roof, it'll get stuck under this bit of wood and that's just rot rotten. So for no, it feels, wood feels fine just here. So what I'm gonna do is should probably just cut a bit off there just so that for future that allows leaves and debris to flow underneath without getting stuck. 
I'm gonna cut the plastic trim a bit shorter as well, just to give it like an inch or two for stuff to flow underneath without getting stuck. Uh, bring you up a bit further. So behind the siding, I mean, yeah, there's a couple of holes in the membrane, but you know, it generally looks okay. There's no real water damage. Bearing in mind this stuff is, well, the house is built in 65, so, you know, 60, 60 years old. Bit of insulation behind there. Uh, and the lead, so the lead behind, looks like it's in okay shape actually, so I don't think that's causing an issue. Yes, it's old, it doesn't look great, but it's not split anywhere. And no water seems to be leaking in, so. Uh, next job will be re peel up this flashing rather than remove it and then see if I can get some tiles off underneath and see what's going on. Right, I filmed a bit earlier but I don't think it came out that well because the sun was right in the camera lens so here we are. Uh, leads off over there actually looks okay condition, just a bit oxidised and covered in paint and all sorts of other rubbish. This beam here, this one, was completely loose and you can see the rot on that end. That's been water damaged for years. So that beam was just resting along there, not fixed down and the lead was sat on top of it. Um, taking all the tiles off, so this is the edge that was under the lid. As you can see, there's a bit of a build-up of stuff underneath. See? I don't think that was helping. But if I look at the very, very top up there, there's no signs of water damage. So I just think where the water's coming off that roof in quite a torrent and heavy rain, water was coming down here on these tiles and just making its way, tracking under the lead, under the, maybe a bit under the tiles, over that bit of wood, then maybe back down under the tiles into this valley, <coughs> dropping into a hole there. So that's courtesy of some vermin friends. And then rain running down inside, hitting a stop here where the wall is, and just tracking across into the bathroom because this is the bathroom roof under here, that sloped bit of ceiling. Uh, so now I'm just taking all the battens off one at a time. I've marked the place of the battens here on this asbestos because the spacing <laughs> isn't very consistent to say the least and I want to be able to put the tiles back where they were so it matches up with what was there. So most of them are 325 millimeters apart but there's a few that are spaced completely differently. So yeah, so now battens off, I'm going to take the membrane off, see if there's any more damage, if hopefully there's not new membrane on top and then new battens etc 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 Buttons and membrane off down there and there and there and everywhere. Uh, good news is no real damage inside, which is great. So this is the plasterboard, the ceiling inside the bathroom. And yeah, there's debris in there, but it's not rotten. There's a little bit of damp on that bit of wood there, but it's not rotten, so that's fine. So what was happening is, wherever the water was getting in, it's coming down here, running down this slope, hitting that block of wood there, and then running back in, and that is just in there, the plasterboard wall to the bathroom. Uh, I've had a look down the bottom here, uh, and there is a beam there that's a damp, but it's not rotten, which is great. So that insulation is a bit nasty, but yeah, here's what it is. 
Uh, and here is the roof of the downstairs bathroom. And that looks fine. This is the old bath overflow, would you believe it? it used to come straight out. And before this extension was here, would have just spurted out on, into the garden. I'm just going to cut that in a minute so I can put it out at a later date. So yeah, all stripped back. What I'm going to do now is have a quick hoover up, get all the debris out. Um, I'm going to have to go and quickly buy some batten and a beam for there to replace like for like. Membrane on, then battens on. And at least then it would be, you know, semi waterproof at that point. Uh, I'm going to reuse the lead flashing for now. Um, and I could replace it later today. It's not a major job to get that off. So yeah, all in all, I'm completely out of my depth, but it's not as bad as I was expecting, so fairly happy with that. Um, when I put the new membrane on, I'm going to try and tuck it under that side as much as possible. Uh, leave a bit of a valley as there was here, all the way down to the bottom. And yes, I know this eave protector should be underneath that membrane. That's just how it is on the front of the house and the back of the house all the way around. I will fix that at some point so it's membrane is on top of that. Uh, but yeah, I've got about an hour left <laughs> before I need to head off, so uh, I need to get cracking a bit quick. Day two, the uh, battens I put on last night held fine, I don't think it rained but it was raining this morning as usual, rainy, windy as hell whenever I'm working on the roof. Uh, just been to B&Q, got some new battens, got a new 3x2 there which is runs along there and the lead sits on top of that. So, with this membrane, I was trying to keep one piece from the top all the way down to the bottom. Um, I'm not sure I'll be able to do that because where it's a bit funky up around this top bit here, it's creating traps for water. So, I might have to cut it along there and then start a second piece. And I just bought a few gadgets. So, I've got these for the battens. Twisted nails, so they should hold in. A bit better. I think this size is just about right for battens, so 3.4 by 70. So there'll be about 40, 45 mil in the roof trusses. More staples for the membrane. Some of these for the plastic trim. Uh, some white sealant for the plastic trim. And some of this adhesive flash banding stuff because I might just bring that out across here a bit further to try and di divert the water away from the flashing down here we'll see it was a little bit tricky to get the membrane to sit exactly how I wanted um, I had to cut it at the top so it was in two pieces uh, but once I did that it was much easier all new battens all the way down most of them a different length which uh, Took a lot longer than expected, and then just kept the valley on the right hand side there to divert water away. Okay, happy with that so far. Uh, it's not a split, just a dark patch. Uh, 
Yeah, I've got quite a few battens on. I'm trying to lay down the uh, underlay nicely so there's plenty of room underneath for the water to flow. I've got a bit of a valley on this side. I've stapled the membrane to a piece of timber under there. I'm creating a nice valley down here so should any water get in it can run straight off. Uh, I did cut the membrane up there and overlap just to get around that dodgy corner bit. Uh, and I'm also running this membrane just up the side, about 100 mil or so. And then what I'll do is I'll bring this piece down over the top and overlap that. So, looking good, pretty steady going. I'm hoping the, uh, I'm trying to line up all these battens with the marks I made previously. You can see that. So I'm hoping the tiles fit back on nicely. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this mortared edge for now because the whole lot needs to be redone. All the way up this side, down the other side. So I'm just going to put it on as is. Dry fit, no bonding. The tiles are interlocking so they shouldn't go anywhere. Um, like I said, the bigger project is the whole ridge, or whatever it's called, up and down. Christ, it's windy. Uh, and like I said yesterday, I want to get this whole thing redone, really. All this plastic off, new plastic, make it look nice. It needs a good wash to get all this green mould off, but it also could do with just being redone entirely. All this lid flashing along here that looks pretty horrendous. So yeah, next job, get these three battens on here. And then I think we can almost start putting tiles on. We need to put the, put the beam back in there. Some other bits. I'm getting too carried away. Alright, a little bit messing about there. I just fix this ease, ease protector just so it goes under the membrane. So this part of the roof is done. I'll do the rest later. As you can see, look, it's all on top of the membrane. The membrane should be over the top and into the gutter. Like that. That's what it should look like. Uh, also, suffered from a lot of rats in the past. And there is where the bath overflow was coming out. So I just cut that pipe off, pulled it out, and then uh, blocked it up. And that pipe did come out wherever it is, there. So I need to block that up as well. Uh, so yeah, a couple of little jobs there. Now I can finish off putting this membrane down. Right, I just cracked on and got that done. Saw the battens on. Got a nice valley coming down here. Membrane goes over the top of the eaves support, eaves tray, whatever it's called. Uh, to do the rest of that later. But yeah, I'm happy with that so far. So what I'm going to do now is just pop this beam in that was here to support the lead flashing. Uh, I'm then going to pop this corner post on, I think, and the little batten that goes on the inside of that. Bring down that membrane. Get some tiles on, uh, maybe get the siding on first, yeah, siding on first, then tiles. And try and get this wrapped up a bit quick, this is dragging on. Right, all done. Uh, I missed a bit because the camera fell off the roof and I was running out of time and I just had to crack on and get it done. So, all the tiles back on. Just need to clean the gutter out, all the rubbish. I swept off all the tiles as I was going to get most of the loose stuff off. Uh, all the cladding's back on. I've got the lead back on okay. Uh, the battens did change the spacing ever so slightly, which made it a little bit awkward, so I had to reshape the lead a little bit. 
but that was good fun. And feel free to tear me to shreds for this, but I've added a self-adhesive flash banding on top. And I'll tell you why. I took a photo earlier, I'll put that up now if I remember. But, uh, so the lead, the lead flashing came to about here. Um, what was happening, I think, is water's coming down this valley in particular. And I think water was just tracking underneath that lead and over to there. And that's where that bit of wood was. And that's where we had the hole in the membrane. That's where it's leaking inside the bathroom. So, yeah, a bit of a DIY bodge. Doesn't look amazing, but it should work. So, um, yeah, I've added that just to bring this out much wider. That's probably about 20 centimeters from there to there. So I've done that all the way from the top to the bottom of the lead. Come up here. Uh, I'd also add a narrow strip just here, just to bring this out wider, mainly because the water runs off here in quite a volume and straight down here. So a little bit of bell and braces here to help divert the water away from this. So I think you can see here, look, the amount of water that's been coming off these flat roofs over here and the lead only came to here. So this would have been prime spot for water to come rushing down. It would have been hitting that edge and probably just working its way under and over. And when I took that lead off underneath there was just loads of rubbish and debris, organic matter. So there, that took me the best part of a whole day, if I consider yesterday and today. Let's try and get down. So yeah, I'm very confident that's not going to leak now with that membrane all the way across, laptop the side, membrane over the top. This flash banding, if it leaks, then... Uh, it would be a miracle. Blimey, that was hard work. If you're a roofer, then you are a hero. Because that is hard doing that. So, from ground level, new flashing. I say flashing, flash banding. Maybe in the future I'll put some lead up there, we'll see. See if it leaks first. I'm tired. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you're a roofer, feel free to tear me to shreds. If you're a DIYer, feel free to do the same. Let me know what you think, if I've made any mistakes or anything else could improve. And then, uh, yeah, subscribe as well, please. So, that'll do for today. Cheerios!